And as the world celebrates World International Education Day, a civil society organization, Regalo Hope Foundation, has urged stakeholders, including government, to engage in inclusive education for both special poor, sick and rich kids, irrespective of their social background, so as to strike a balance. Convener Mrs. Chinaye Onora said these during their yearly event celebrated on International Education Day, codenamed Edo Stake Conference. Children drawn from various colleges were engaged in activities including quiz, spelling bees, drama and dance, among others. The children could not hide their excitement as they look forward to the next Edo Stake Conference. Gallup Foundation has been able to adopt 791 children back to school, and we are grateful to our corporate sponsors, our donors, who have held our hands on this journey from inception. We would not have been able to do this if they didn't give us that support. So, and you know, our impact spreads across 20 states in Nigeria, and we've been able to cover both the northern part, the western part, and the eastern part, including Lagos. So, um. We are doing our bit. We, we, we source and recognize disadvantaged children in communities, especially within Igondo. And then we adopt them back to school. We don't just adopt them back to school. We stay with them throughout that journey to the end of school. And like I said, this can only be made possible, or this has been made possible with the support of corporate partnerships and individual donors. We've had people even in our center, in our resource and learning center, People with autism, people with special needs, learn together with gifted children in the same classroom. So the message is inclusion is possible. And like the team says, we are here to unite for inclusive education. The child that was getting preferential treatment. There are many times that I will have pain in class and have to leave class, you know, just abruptly like that. But then thought that ah, she's not coming to class, she's not being flogged, then they say everybody kneel down. She's not kneeling down. They say to me, stand up. And then they decide to make my life a living hell. GS2 to SS2, I suffered low self-esteem. I run a consulting firm. Uh, the name is Champ. And what we do is to run, uh, we offer executive coaching services for senior leaders. Uh, we deploy trainings for people in organizations. We advise the management of organizations as well and how to drive profitability. And we have a media platform called the Peak Performer. And while thinking about the conversation of you know, uniting everyone coming together for inclusive education, a thought that comes to mind is that education is the key for transformation. That's a fact. Then, when you want to introduce, as we are introducing inclusive education, what are the things we're supposed to do? We're supposed to treat them equally. That is equal treatment. Although there are some challenges and even disabilities that may be a little bit difficult to embrace. But in such a case, we must get a therapist that will be with the children that are involved. Without therapists, the work will be cumbersome for the teachers to do. As an educator, the work of a teacher is very, very cumbersome. So for you now to bring children with special needs, you, they need assistance in the classroom for better work. So that's Thank you very much, Gallo Foundation, for this. It's time. It's um, something we need uh, to understand. So let, let, let's put it this way for our students. And there's a spectrum. Let's say we have a trick. In the middle of this all, we have a tree. And there are those before the tree, and there are also those after the tree. So we call that a spectrum. That's those that are in the tree, on the tree, or that, those that are the tree. They are, let's say, in the world, the regular people. I don't use the word normal because there's nobody that's actually normal if you dig deep. Uh, so we said those before, uh, there are challenges. Uh, uh, they're not able to learn at the same pace with uh, the regular people they are before, and uh, we have those that uh, cannot hear the same uh, decibel like we do the before. Then after, uh, we have the gifted, the talented, we have those that are exceptional, and they need enrichments. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.